Josh here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to attach the Zoom Servo and the Follow Focus Servo to your Crane 3 Lab. Let's get right into it. Here we have the Zoom and Follow Focus Servo. Notice how the Zoom Servo is larger than the Follow Focus Servo. Each servo has a mount for the supporting rail, and we have the sprocket right here, which will attach to the gear that goes on your lens. Take your quick release plate and prepare to mount the adjustment arm that we mentioned in the previous tutorial where I taught you how to balance the Crane 3 Lab. Here is the adjustment arm. This is how we will mount on our lens support system and both of our servos. Attach it to the right side of the quick release plate by using the quarter 20 inch wing screw. Make sure it's good and tight, and don't forget that you always have the option of adjusting it forward or backward. The adjustment arm also has a ruler printed on it so you can always remember the exact settings that you used on a certain camera setup. Prepare the two mounting servo arms that we will mount directly onto the quick plate. Then take the wing screws and screw it on to the bottom of the quick release plate. The servo mounting arms have rails that glide directly onto the quick release plate. Make sure they fit nice and snug. Once you're done adjusting, screw on the wing screw. Then attach the second servo mounting arm. Now prepare the mounting rails. These will slip on to the mounting brackets. Once they are in the brackets, you can tighten it up. Do the same thing on the other side. Don't forget that you can adjust this when you mount your camera. Next, install the lens support bracket onto the front of the quick plate. Use the two wing screws that are provided and screw on the lens mount bracket. These wing screws are spring-loaded, so you can change the position of the actual handle of the screw if they get in the way. Next, find the cable box that came with your Crane 3 Lab. Find the two gear rings and prepare to mount it onto your lens. Now it's time to gear up your lens. Carefully wrap one gear around the focus ring and wrap the other around the zoom. Then adjust the gears to make sure that they are not crooked. Feel free to test the gears on your zoom and focus rings to make sure that they have enough grip. If the gears are slipping, you need to tighten them up. Now you're ready to install the quick plate onto the quarter 20 inch port on the bottom of your camera body. Make sure that the quarter 20 inch screw is good and tight. Feel free to make any necessary adjustments. If you're using a large lens, make sure to use the lens support bracket since it helps prop up the lens. Make any fine tune adjustments by adjusting the adjustment arm on the right side of the quick plate. Make sure that the lens support bracket helps prop up the lens. Now insert your camera onto the quick release system, similar to how we did this in the balancing tutorial video. Next, take your follow focus servo and mount it onto the rail. It just slides right on. Make sure that the teeth on the gear match up exactly with the teeth on the sprocket in order to get a proper grip. Use both hands to properly adjust the follow focus servo. One hand should be holding the servo while the other one tightens up the tensioner. Now it's time to mount the zoom servo. Since the follow focus gear is in the way of me mounting the zoom servo, I'm adjusting the rail in order for me to mount the zoom servo on the back of it. Same technique applies as before. Use both hands to help mount the zoom servo directly onto the gear to make sure that it has proper grip. 
Once everything is aligned, tighten it up. Make any final adjustments that are necessary to make sure that both servos will operate correctly. Next, grab your USB-C to USB-C cables and connect them onto the HD transmission system. There are two dedicated ports, one for zoom and one for focus. Make sure that each cable is connected to the proper servo. Now we are ready to balance the gimbal. Follow the exact same instructions as my previous tutorial on how to balance it. There is a second adjustment for roll. If needed, you can adjust this by sliding the camera system from the left to the right or to the right to the left. Once your gimbal is powered on, test out both servos. Use the follow focus dial and the zoom servo rocker. You'll also notice that the servos have blinking yellow lights. This means that they are operating normally. So that's how you install the Zoom Servo and the Follow Focus Servo on your Crane 3 Lab. I'll see you in the next video.